Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Death by Coconut from Oscar Blues is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are going to try Death by Coconut. I have had some of the other ones. I think I got them in a variety pack, but I've always wanted to try this. One of my home brewing magazines does have this recipe and I do want to find it and brew it here soon. Uh, this is a 12 ounce can, 6.5% ABV. Uh, canned on date is 9-5-18, so almost two months old and untapped did have a whole list of them so i did pick the 2018 just so we can check the scores on that i don't know it does not have the abv or the ibus on the can or on untapped let's go ahead and get it in a glass this is considered a porter looks like a porter as i'm pouring it standard can art i would say for them uh this does say uh iris style porter on it i don't know why untap just says unknown porter <clears throat> but that's okay if we look at the head we do have a chocolate colored head small bubbles about a half a finger bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap Color is a very dark brown color. I do have a hue on the bottom of it, an amber hue. Can't see through it. Let's go ahead and get a smell. Coconut, toasted coconut is what I really get. Maybe a tiny bit of chocolate, but that coconut, toasted coconut is what the main smell is. But if you're talking death by coconut, that's what it should have. It does say on the can for anybody that hasn't heard of this beer, uh, coconut chocolate is what's on the can. So let's go ahead and get a taste. Good amount of that toasted coconut. Maybe, I guess I shouldn't say toasted coconut. I would go with like real coconut up front as it goes back. You do get a little bitterness and roasted malt in there, but not very much. Light pushing medium beer, not quite medium in my eyes, but yeah, you do get that bitter, almost dark chocolate in the very back now that my palate's warming up to it aftertaste is like a mounds bar smooth pretty light i i do like that coconut in there i i i wish the back had a little bit more but like i said you do get that coconut up front it goes back into a little roasted bitter malt but the bitterness is probably from the chocolate very very drinkable i'd probably have to go with a 4.25 out of 5 on this one like i said i would i want a little bit more in the back i wish that coconut was up just a little bit it seems like it fades pretty quick from the front of the palate to the back aftertaste it does come back but you if you're a big coconut lover i think this isn't enough coconut for you or it doesn't last long excuse me um i would like a i i think i would like a sweeter chocolate this is more of like a dark baker's chocolate than anything to me because you do get that bitterness and in a mounds bar it would be a sweeter chocolate so i think for my personal preference i would rather it be a sweeter chocolate than it is but yeah definitely one i would pick up and drink more of <clears throat> uh two of my friends have had this average 4.25 out of five 
a uh, little over 1,300 people have had this average 4.11 out of 5. I can see uh, that it, uh, you know, it is a good beer. A lot of people do want to try it, do try it. This is the first time we found it. I think she picked this up at Drake's. Um, I could be wrong. It could have been Mega Bev, but I think it was Drake's. Um, this is the first one I've ever had, the 2018 version. Uh, one person said um, he remembered liking it more last year. So it could have changed a little bit. Let's see if anybody else. Tyler gave it a 4.5. And that is it. Those are the only two people. So definitely one, if you're into those bitter chocolate coconut porters, um, definitely one to pick up and try. I think they did a great job with this. But if you are a craft beer drinker, I think you know Oscar Blues and that this is a good beer. So that'll wrap up this review. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Or thumbs down if you don't like it hit that subscribe button and that bell so you know when new videos are coming out and until next time happy brewing